Okay, we're to the stack keeping part, but uh, I left a couple things out in the game section and I don't want to redo that video. Here's a, uh, just a couple of things. A uh, hit by pitch, um, I use the same symbol for walk, which is an eight. So walk, hit by pitch, you use an eight. Uh, don't, I don't differentiate between the two, sorry. It's, it's the way things go. Um, and the other thing is, uh, if you roll an X and you want to, you know, if you're just scrolling in and punching in numbers and you don't want to keep moving your, you know, you don't want to move your cursor all over the board, there's a hot key that'll get you over to this yellow box. So, you know, say you're in this this spot here and the, the X comes up. You hit Control X and you see it moved from there up to here. See that? So, you know, and, you know wherever you are in whatever inning, with whatever, with whatever batter, okay, a hover, and you roll an X, you just hit Control X, boom, it takes you right up there, okay? So those are a couple things I um, left out of the previous video. Um, uh, at this point, uh, you can save your work. Uh, right now, uh, you hit uh, save the game um, just so that your valuable data doesn't get lost, all right? Now, we are ready to move the data into a new file, and while that happens, uh, it will clear out the the boxes here for another game and to do that you hit control M here we go control M and there you go what control M has done is erased all the data it left you know the left the team it left the second game of the series I suppose you're ready to go for another game between Boston and California now you gotta go and find that there's a book, the next book is open, book two. This, this is the file that gets created based on the data that we just had. Now you'll, you'll notice what has happened here is that the, uh, this scroll bar has slid over. It used, to be, it used to be right over here. But this scroll bar has uh, slid over in that macro to show you all the wonderful stats that just got accumulated. And you can, if you wanna verify them, you can, but you, you don't have to. Um, under every player in this in the black area here and here uh, these are all formulas to do all the computations you need this is of course looks very familiar if you've seen any box scores this is your at bats this is your runs this is your hits and this is your RBIs okay and then after that in the next column you've got your doubles you see uh, Tony Armas has a one here you see that he had a double in the second inning uh, Denny Gonzalez has a one there double that inning okay Say triples. This is the next column. Nick Asaski had a triple. There you go, and it got accumulated there. This next column is home runs. Ellis Burks had a home run there. I think Brian Downing has one here. It's home runs. And here you have uh, walks, which miraculously the Angels didn't walk anybody. <laughs> and strikeouts, which uh, a lot of guys struck out. And then here, you know what? I only had one walk in our little fictional game. That was Wayne Tollison. He walked the lead off the game. These guys are free swingers, apparently. So there's his one walk. And then these are all strikeouts. Okay? And then in the last column is stolen bases. That little two there. And you see uh, Ellis Burks got credit for stealing second. Let's say he stole second and third, just fictionally. Let's change the two to a five. See that? I put a five there, meaning he stole second and third. And now he gets credit for two stolen bases. See that? Oh, is it eight here that gets the three? Yeah, that's eight. I'm sorry. Eight will give you the second, third, and home. But let's not do that. I would change the results of the game. So just give them one. There you go. All right, so this, uh, your stats are all accumulated. The, the, the pitcher's innings, total innings pitches get carried over. They get accumulated, and they get, uh, the, the, the blacks are all formulas, the black numbers here. So what you have to do this, you actually now have to score the game from the pitcher standpoint. And I'll do that right now. I'll start at the end and work my way towards the beginning. So I'll start with Chuck Finley, who was the closer, who was the last pitcher to be used. And this column, the first column is a win, second column is a loss, and the third column here is a save. He got the save because they won five to four and he got the final out. So you put a one there. And that'll accumulate saves in a, in a bigger spreadsheet for your, for your stat accumulation, okay? It shows that he pitched one inning from the, from the game, but let's look at his, what he did in the ninth inning. He, uh, he came in, he got a double play and a strikeout. So here you put, uh, in, uh, you put hits, 
would go there. R earned runs, uh, run or runs earned runs, walks, strikeouts. So you put a one because he had one strikeout. Then Jeff Lottie, he came in, faced one batter, and gave up a hit. So you put a one there in the first column where hits where hits are. Okay. Let's go back to the next previous pitcher. Greg Mitten came in in the seventh inning, pitched the inning in the third. He struck out a guy and then got three more outs. So you go over to the last column and give him a strikeout. Now, Nepper, you can do it a couple ways. You can go through the box, okay, and accumulate hits, runs, walks, and strikeouts, or you could take the sum of its parts. You have up here, you shows Boston has four runs on nine hits, okay? So you can put Nepper, you, you see you got one hit there, you can put eight, right? Boston has nine hits. He gave up one. This guy it means Nepper has to give up eight. You want to double check? All right, let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're great hits. Now, you know he gave up four runs, all right? Now, let's check, the, see if they're earned runs. This is where you got to score, make sure they are actually earned runs. That's an earned run. That's an earned run. Those two are earned runs. This is why I, I don't have formulas to do this, just because I have to look and see if runs are earned or unearned. Next column are walks and strikeouts. The quick way of doing this is looking up here in the, in this row. This is Boston's, uh, the away team's hitting stats. 35 at-bats, four runs, nine hits, and um, four RBIs, two doubles, a, one triple, one homer, no walks, nine strikeouts. Quick and dirty way. Chuck Finley had one, Minton had one, which means Nepper has seven. Let's count them up just to verify. If you, if you want to, you don't have to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's your seven strikeouts. If you add up the walks and strikeouts in this column, should for Boston's hitting, should be the same here for Bo uh, California's pitching. No walks and nine strikeouts, all right? Now, Clemens is even easier. He lost. So you put the one there. He pitched eight innings, and he get, and he was responsible for all of this. The eight hits, the five runs, and looking into this second inning, all that's earned. So you put a five there. Um, there's only one walk in the whole game in the first inning, so you put a one there. And then ten strikeouts. And if you're not sure, if you think my formula might be wrong, let's count them all up. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's your ten strikeouts. And the last column on the right, he gets the credit for a complete game. That's what I use the final pitching. So you put a one, he gets credit for a complete game there. So in summation, oh, and I gotta give Bob Nepper a victory here. So for every baseball game, you have to have a one. A one and a zero, a zero and a one for winning and losing. And in the third column, if a team got a credit for a save, and then make sure here your innings pitch are correct, nine innings, eight innings. And then if you got Boston has four runs on nine hits, California gave up uh, four runs on nine hits. Make sure these match up, they should cross reference. California, five runs on eight hits. Boston pitchers gave up five runs on eight hits. And finally, walks and strikeouts, because these are all the stats where you actually have to input manually. 0 and 9, 0, 9. 1, 10, 1, 10. What that does is confirm that all the input area in the, in the light blue area, all these numbers that you've put in, are correct. Once you are correct, you're ready then to save your file and then move it to a different worksheet. So let's save the file. I'm just going to call this... Um, Game 1-1, one, one, Boston, California. I'm going to save it. And then after that, we're ready to start moving it into a bigger spreadsheet.